In this lesson, we will cover the Power Apps template, My Expenses. So go to Power Apps, Create. My Expenses Canvas App, Create. Allow. So these are the screens. App on start. These are the collections. Client hosted meet and greet. It's coming from here. Its ID is four, three, two, then one. Then line items. Remember that each line item has its ID. means for the day. So all meals throughout trip. These are all the line, side, line items. The total of this 14 and 14 is 28 and 4 is 32. So these line items are coming from here. All meals throughout the trip, 1400, then lodging, 1400, transportation, 400. Let's confirm that. Oops. It's coming from here. These three. So the data is coming from collection. There is no <coughs> external storage. So let's begin to run it. New expenses. Intihab expenses. Approver, just pick somebody. Cost center. Microsoft. Add a line item. Line one, or rather, pizza. Twenty dollars piece. Big bill. Huge. Burger. Ten dollar burger. Save. So these are all the pending two. Open one. 
So this 20 and 10. So this is stored in the collection. Now we will pick this all we will delete one item delete delete another item then go here delete expense report and it is gone so it's no more there now filter filter let's pick a date which is may 1st to may 8 apply then when i try to see all nothing is there so filter Let's go back to the original date. Let's say Jan. OK. Apply. Now we can see all the expenses. So there is an apply filter scheme. Now, <coughs> my expenses visible scheme on visible so the three collections are filtered based on the expense 2 an expense 2 is defined here whereas these two are collections applied on the different uh, galleries different uh, sections so when we run this these three filters open pending approved open pending approved these are three collections So, here we have done some grouping. I have covered grouping. If not, I will create video on them. So, <coughs> then we'll go on my expenses. The logic of edit expense the update button we uh, let's run this my expenses all let's say on site client edit and just add something here update then go back we see it so the update uses the update if function not this Edit expense. This uses the update if it matches the ID on this collection and it updates this. And delete will take you to the delete confirmation screen. We 
delete confirmation screen is here. The delete button will remove based on that ID. It will remove the line and it will remove that line from the uh, expense to and end line item to collection. So uh, this is in short it is doing all the operations on the collection and nothing is being sh stored to an external uh, data source. So this is all about my expenses.